Today we had uh, over 200 eighth graders from Smith uh, rotated through six different stations uh, that are Civil War oriented. So they saw a, a Union soldier talk about how the uh, soldiers would have lived, uh, their food and their clothing and things like that. Uh, they learned how to drill and march and handle a musket. Uh, they got to do a little bit of dancing too, a little bit of contra dance. Sometimes people call it square dancing. Contra dancing is the proper term for it. Uh, very popular at the time, very popular here too. Uh, they learned about Civil War medicine and surgery from our surgeon. And of course, they got to hang out with President Lincoln a little bit, talk about the telegraph. And uh, Sojourner Truth gave them a little bit of information about herself. You can see bone saws, different things, stethoscopes from the Civil War. Um, scarfers, uh, tourniquets, chloroform. Love being here, it's a great experience. I think, I'm, I wish I could have had it when I was in eighth grade because the chance to see what they do here, I, that one thing that I wish I could do is see everyone else's presentations because there's a lot of neat things going on here. I believe in education through the arts and I believe in teaching history through reenacting, actually reenacting and becoming the character. They enjoy the experience of meeting literally meeting a person. So the more to life you bring the person, the more they feel they have touched or they have become a part of history. We do this because the classroom does not always offer quite the same amount of experiences as you can get from this kind of a thing. Like you're, uh, they're, they're really getting to live and breathe and move around in the environment and that is so valuable in an educational way. Uh, reading about these things on a textbook page is one thing, but getting to see uh, pictures of severed limbs and getting to carry a musket and uh, you know all of those things really make this a much more real experience for the students. Uh, and we get to cram it all into just one day, which uh, I'm sure the teachers appreciate a little bit of a compressing of the lesson too.